A mother and her one-year-old baby killed in a house fire. Tonight, investigators are trying to figure out how it all began. Joe Hankey went to LaGrange to talk with the fire chief. The small home here along Reeves Street remains taped off as the LaGrange Fire Department continues its investigation. There is little damage to see to the outside of the home, but I'm told in a bedroom inside is where firefighters found the mother and her daughter. A broken window is one of only a few signs you can see from the outside of the fire. You know, the fire was relatively small. LaGrange Fire Chief John Brandt says the fire only destroyed one room inside. Uh, the rest of the house is just um, smoke damage and there was a lot of melting um, that happened throughout the house when the heat increased. So. Brandt says around 740 Sunday morning, an alarm company called 911 after two smoke alarms went off. Firefighters spotted smoke as they drove up, but no flames. They then went in through the front door to put out the fire and found the flames behind a closed bedroom door in the back of the house. They extinguished the fire, uh, did a quick swipe with the uh, thermal imaging camera. Um, at that time, didn't see any victims. With the fire put out, a search and rescue team went in and found the bodies of 29-year-old Tatiana McFarland and one-year-old Minova Satterwhite underneath several blankets in the bedroom where the fire broke out. I believe that uh, they were asleep and um, the door was shut to the, the room, the bedroom, and uh, the smoke didn't make it to the, the smoke alarm before um, it caused the, the damage. Neighbors say the mother and her daughter only moved in a short time ago. And while none of the neighbors knew the pair, Brandt says the fire is a loss for the community and tough on his department. You know, being taken from, you know, such early age and from a fire, it's devastating. It's hard on the crews. Um, it's never a, a pretty sight. And um, so we pray for their families and, and uh, you know, also pray for our guys. Hope that um, even though it's a difficult time that, that, you know, through prayer, everybody can get through it. And the LaGrange fire chief said he could not speculate about the cause of the fire as it remains under investigation. But he did say so far investigators have not found anything suspicious.